Yeah. Welcome fellow Forensicators to the uh, Forensic Tools YouTube channel. I'm Peter Fryer, it's my pleasure to invite you to our channel. Please like and subscribe and check out our website in the link in the description. It's my pleasure to welcome you to Zeta Alberta, a new addition to the Forensic Tool team who brings with him a 30-year career in law enforcement, crime scene investigation and management. So Zita, tell us a bit more about yourself. Uh, Peter, I resigned uh, from law enforcement after a career of 30 years where I was uh, responsible for investigation of cases on a, on a high level, um, fingerprint investigations, crime scene processing, all of those things. Can you tell us about some of the interesting cases you worked on? I've been involved in basically everything that you can think of, from explosion cases, post-blast investigations, airplane investigations, where we did the victim identification on, 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 the, on the bodies of the plane crash and uh, basically high profile crimes in investigations um, both locally and internationally um, when you retired from law enforcement at what rank did you retire i retired with the rank of lieutenant colonel and that was after after 30 years in law enforcement thanks for that information zita so at forensic tools we're all about forensics we love forensics so today we're going to talk to you about fuming or using cyanoacrylate or super glue to develop fingerprints uh, in the lab, in the chamber. Uh, Zita, can you tell us a bit more about this process and what it entails? The traditional process of cyanoacrylate is where you fume evidence, and after you fume the evidence in the superglue chamber, you have to dye stain the evidence. Dye stain is mixed, it's a messy process. You have to dip the evidence in the dye stain, afterwards you have to wash it off and put it in the evidence dryer to dry. It's a lengthy and messy process. Thank you very much, Zita. Can you tell me how that process compares to the new process using Lumicyano? Well, the new process of cyanoacrylate basically works like this. You have to mix your super glue with your dye stain, which is all in one process. You do this in an extraction chamber because there's chemical uh, waste uh, into the air. So your chemical extraction chamber you have to have in your lab. So from the chemical extraction chamber, you take your bucket with super glue and dye stain which you've mixed, you place it in the super glue chamber where you fume your evidence. So when the evidence is fumed, the super glue and the dye stain uh, reacts with the fingerprint on the evidence. So you don't have to dye stain it afterwards. From your fuming chamber, you can go directly to your visual area and with your different light sources, you can then visually look for, for physical evidence. And photograph, capture it. Forensic Tools is the proud distributor of Lumi Cyano. Uh, it's the fluorescing cyanoacrylate product uh, developed and manufactured by Crime Science Technologies. Sita, thank you very much for your insight. Pleasure, uh, Peter. It was most enlightening. Thank you. Uh, remember to share and like our channel. Uh, follow the link to our website in the description. And uh, keep in touch. We've got a lot more coming. Thank you. Thank you.